Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today, we're here at Las Olas and we're going to continue our resort tour series here at Rio Palace Peninsula. And we're gonna take a look at the buffets offered here. We're gonna take a look at the breakfast buffet and then later on we'll show you the dinner buffet and look at all the food offerings. So without further ado, let's head inside Las Olas. All right, so we're inside the dining room now and uh, we're gonna take a trip around all the different islands and the stations here, take a look at the different food offering here. So we're gonna start with the fruit station just here. So we've got all kinds of different fruit uh, milkshakes and fruit juices like banana, papaya, we have some melon, a pineapple milkshake, and then we have some milk with chocolate. Here we have all kinds of different fruits. We've got plum, star fruit, we've got some passion fruit, we've got some fruit salads here all prepared. We've got some beautiful presentation on these watermelons, mangoes, kiwis as you can see here. It looks delicious. I like that big bunch of fruit at the back there. And then uh, some other ones here just beside, so all different fruits scattered around these platters here. And then just beside that, we've got uh, some different uh, milk offerings. So we've got some alternatives. We've got lactose-free milk, soy milk, and uh, non-fat milk, and then the almond milk as well. The one thing is they're not labeled just on the, the jugs here, but you can see that they are offered there. So you might have to just ask which one is which here. All right, coming to our next station here, we've got some different cheeses and cold salads and meats. So we've got some butter, some provolone cheese, We've got some goat cheeses here, some brie cheese. Here we've got some cream cheeses. Uh, and then here at the bottom, this is interesting, it's a guava paste. And we've got some panela cheese. Here we've got some uh, chips here and some crackers. And then we've got some cold meats offered. We've got some pork loin, uh, serrano ham, uh, chorizo. Here we have some Genoa salami, some different types of hams and mortadellas. And then just here we have some smoked ham with some uh, preserves at the top like red onion, capers. Just on the end here we've got some different vinaigrettes and uh, um, oils to make up like a little dressing for yourself. And then we'll look at the island just across here. We've got lots of different toppings if you wanted to make yourself like some granola or yogurt. We've got some shredded coconut, different types of seeds, some dried fruits here. And then we've also got some cereals here which might be a nice little offering for the kiddos. We've got some Fruit Loops, Corn Flakes, and then just here we've got lots of different things to make up a cold salad. So we've got some pickles. I'm just gonna pick out a couple here, but you can see them as we're going across. Some olives, tomatoes, some lettuce and onion, carrot, pico de gallo, some uh, chopped spinach. Looks like it's already made up in a salad here. We've got some tomato and cucumber, some red onion, cabbage, and then here we've got all kinds of different uh, yogurts got some uh, mango yogurt, some prune yogurt, yogurt with granola already in it. We've got some uh, already prepared like fruit yogurt parfaits. We've got some sugar-free yogurt here, uh, strawberry yogurt, and then some plain yogurt too. And then all kinds of different fruit offerings all around this to make a nice yogurt here for yourself. Just behind me, we've got a self-serve drink station here. So we've got some carrot juice, pineapple juice, orange juice, and then like a green juice here for like a nice healthier option. We've got some buns here. It's like a multi-grain. We've got some bagels, some biscuits, and then some fresh loaves here that you can uh, cut up here at this cutting station. And then around on the other side, we've got some different uh, chocolate glazed croissants, some muffins, some plain croissants here. And we've got some danishes, some cinnamon, uh, cinnamon rolls with uh, frosting on top, some apple turnovers, and then some, uh, some sweet loaves here too. This one's actually really good. It's like a vanilla chocolate loaf. I had one of those yesterday. And then lastly, we've got some fritters. We've got some churros here, all the way in the back hiding there. We've got some rice pudding, and we've got some biscuits. And then coming around this way, this is a gluten-free station, so there's some gluten-free bread here and some muffins just on top. And that's labeled, as you can see, with this gluten-free sign. Coming around this way, we've got a uh, cooking pot with some chocolate milk in it. You can grab a bowl, and then there's some oatmeal with some cinnamon milk inside just here. And then some uh, toppings to put in your oatmeal just here. So that does it for these islands here in the middle. We're going to take a, a tour around the outside. This is where you can pick up some hot food too. So starting here, we have a uh, toast station. So there's lots of different uh, breads up top here, as you can see, some different variations. 
and then some toasters down below. And then over on uh, this little corner here, we've got a Mexican station. So here's some uh, toppings here. We've got some fresh cream, we've got some shredded cheese and cilantro, red onion, and then some chips here. And then in the uh, Mexican station here, we've got some different sauces. Some, uh, I'm assuming these are gonna be some uh, spicier sauces. And then we have some pork stew here. We've got some, a chicken stew in the back and then some refried beans here. We've got a really nice uh, rice and uh, peppers with zucchini. And then it looks like a, a chicken stew again in the back here too. So this one's like a shredded, this one's more like a whole chicken with a bone in. Coming over this way, we've got some chilaquiles. We've got red chilaquiles and green chilaquiles. We've got some uh, sauteed potatoes in the back and then some mixed vegetables here in front of me. We've got some roasted vegetables way in the back there and then some sauteed vegetables here with mushroom. Some more seasoned and roast vegetables. These are, I think these are eggplant here in front of me. There's just no sign for it. And then here's some sauces as well. They're saying that there's a spicy green sauce and a spicy red sauce. And then over here, we've got some more um, offerings, some Mexican offerings. We've got some ham and cheese burritos in the back. We've got some uh, tamales here. We've got some quesadillas in the back and then some cheese chimichangas. Uh, and, and we have some enchiladas and some uh, sabutes in the back too. Here we have some uh, boiled eggs and we have some uh, quiches here. So this is a vegetable quiche and this one's a Spanish tortilla. We've got um, ranchera eggs or fried eggs with tortilla and a hot sauce. Some bread with uh, egg and then another uh, boiled egg too. So these are five minute boiled eggs and the other ones were eight minute boiled eggs. And then if you'd like, you can grab a uh, omelette from the omelette station here. So here's all the different toppings you can get with your omelette. Some spinach, mushroom, ham, peppers, onions, tomatoes, zucchini, all kinds of really good stuff here. And they'll fry that omelette up just at the station over here. And then over here, we've got some poached eggs. And then here we have some uh, scrambled egg whites with spinach, some traditional scrambled eggs, and then scrambled eggs with ham. Over here we have some uh, fried eggs, so there's some sunny eggs and then some over easy and I think these ones are just egg whites here. And then here at the back we've got some hash browns, we've got some sautéed potatoes, some pork sausage, we've got some uh, baked tomatoes and mixed vegetables, some fried plantain way in the back there, and then some baked beans, and then a uh, some traditional bacon here and some uh, chicken breast in the back there. It's kind of hiding, there it is there. And then finally in our last station here, we've got a large roasted pork leg here with some uh, vegetables there beside that. And then some uh, sauces to go along with that. We've got some mashed potatoes. So if you're looking for like more of like lunch or dinner food here, there is some stuff offered at breakfast here. And then we have some donuts. There's really nice, beautifully glazed donuts here and then more of a sugar coated donut. We've got some more bacon. Uh, we've got some pancakes here, different styles, like blueberries, chocolate, uh, banana, and then just regular pancakes. Some more donuts. And we have some crepes over here at this station. Some French bread, uh, already prepared like ham and cheese sandwiches here. And then um, already prepared ham and cheese uh, biscuits here too. And then finally, just over here, if you want some toppings for your pancakes, we have some uh, Nutella here. And then there's all kinds of different syrups and sauces, peanut butters, chocolate chips, sprinkles, icing sugar, and things just here. But that's going to do it for our tour here of breakfast here at Rio Palace Peninsula. We're going to turn things over to dinner time and show you the food offered here at dinner. All right, so we're back here at the dinner buffet and we're uh, going to take a look at some of the food offered here. So we're going to start things off over here. If you want to grab a plate, you can follow along here and you can grab some cold salad. So we've got some guacamole, we've got some corn, some lettuce, cabbage, tomatoes, we've got some jalapenos and eggplant, lots of different dressings along the top there as you can see. We have some uh, pickles, carrots and onion, all kinds of great stuff to uh, make yourself a nice cold salad as a nice little appetizer. We've got some green salad, some fresh fish here. Um, this is a uh, salmon, all ready to go. There's a caprese salad just in the back, just here. And we've got some more fresh fish. This is a seafood ceviche salad. And then we have like a couscous salad and asparagus just here, like a white asparagus. And then um, I'm just gonna wrap around to the other side because there's some nice stuff over here too. 
So we've got like a uh, tartare, I think it's a salmon tartare, an artichoke salad. We've got some beautiful like giant shrimps here. This is the caprese salad that I was pointing at before. Wow, that looks really nice. The presentation is so nice. This is a potato salad. It's actually a really cool idea to come here like early on because the presentation looks really nice when the buffet opens. We've got some tomatoes, onions, some sardines, peppers, and then some pico de gallo. So the next uh, island we'll go take a tour through here is this one here. I think these are, yeah, little small bites. Oh, these are, oh yeah, we got like a papaya juice here and then a green juice, like a cucumber and mint juice. There's some really cool presentation here with these uh, gazpachos. So all kinds of different styles here. There's not really individual tags, but these are nice little seafood salads. I'm getting the sense that tonight's like a Mediterranean or seafood night. And then finally some uh, toppings here. Uh, lots of different like sprinkles and things. This would probably be for like yogurts or some yogurts or ice creams and things like that. So turning around over this way, this is gonna be where you can find some fruits. So we've got some papaya, marshmallows, pineapple, um, watermelon, and strawberries. And we've got two different style uh, chocolate fountains here. We've got a uh, milk chocolate one here, and then we've got a uh, white chocolate one just here. So you can dip your fruit in those chocolate fountains. I like that. I think the kids would really like that too. We've got some syrups here too. Chocolate syrup, maple syrup, and strawberry. And then some ice cream here. We've got some chocolate ice cream, almond, vanilla, Neapolitan and uh, marzipan ice cream here too. So coming around the other side, we've got some whole fruits here. We've got some diced fruits as well. Some of the same things we saw earlier, uh, just in uh, sort of like slices now. We've got some uh, mango, pineapple, watermelon, uh, cantaloupe and honeydew, papaya. Oh wow, this looks so nice and colorful. I love this presentation. And then we got a similar uh, toppings or similar toppings here that we saw earlier. And then we've got some um, puff pastries and creme. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is the dish here, and then I'll show you the sign here. Oh, it's a, I didn't see that at the bottom, it's a pear crumble. So coming away from this uh, station here, this is gonna be the last kind of middle station before we take a look at the hot food. Um, so yeah, so there's, there's quite a few different options here. I'm just gonna kind of like pan around here. There's different tarts and cheesecakes and puddings but there isn't any like actual signs up, so it's hard for me to kind of identify each one of these. But I just want to kind of highlight some of the cool presentation and the, uh, all the different really nice desserts here that the pastry chefs have done. Really, really nice. And then they even have like some Oreo puddings here too. We got Oreo and figs with cream and blueberry. And then finally some uh, cheese here too. So there's different types like Swiss uh, blue cheese with some strawberries, almost like a blue cheese salad. Serrano ham, we've got some brie cheese, really, really nice. All right, so that's gonna do it for the middle section here. We're gonna come over this way and start working our way through the hot food. Here at the bakery station, we've got some uh, dinner rolls and some fresh uh, loaves here of different uh, style, multi-grain, <clears throat> excuse me, multi-grain, sourdough, and you can use it, this knife here to cut up a fresh piece for yourself. Some more dinner rolls. And then here at the Mexican station, we've got some chips. We've got some tostadas and tamales. We've got some chicken tinga and quesadillas in the back. Then we have some um, corn chicken tortillas. We have some refried beans and then some beef stew along with some empanadas in the back. Then we have some Chinese style vegetables. A vegetable quiche in the back and this is sorry this has moved on now from the Mexican to the vegetarian station now so we got some spring rolls and stuffed tomatoes just in the back here we've got some quinoa and then pasta with vegetables some more um, uh, roasted vegetables here and then a uh, yaki meshi rice and then vegetarian burritos and then lastly some uh, bean cannel cannellonis here and uh, I just want to point out there is quite a few options here for people who are, uh, have a vegetarian diet, so that's really great to see. All right, here we've got some fresh pizza here, all ready to go, some different styles. We got cheese pizza, a mushroom pizza, a margarita pizza, a salami pizza, pepperoni in the back, and then a tomato and shrimp pizza. We've got some different um, pizza rolls, almost it looks like here. Here we have a meat lasagna. We've got a seafood pasta and tomato, 
some pasta with tomato sauce, pasta alfredo, and then some ravioli. And then we've got some different oils and um, spices to kind of season up your pastas here, depending on the heat level you like. Here we have an Italian station. So I'm not sure what this one is called. So it's like a mushroom pie, I really like that. And then some other uh, little baguettes with um, almost like bruschetta. And then um, these toppings here to make the pasta, pasta, custom pasta. Oh, sweet, that's awesome. So you can see all the different ingredients back there. Here, I'll see if I can get a better look. You can see all the different ingredients you can ask for your own custom made pasta. Coming over into the next area, we've got some sauteed shrimp. We've got some uh, chicken roast risoni. And then some fried fish fingers here. And some, I have to be honest, some of these I don't know what they are, but I'm just reading the signs above. These I know are mussels. We have the calamari here, a mahi-mahi fish, a tuna fish, and then grilled tilapia. And they've got like sort of a different glaze and butter kind of in the bottom of the pans. And then here we've got some french fries, roasted vegetables, a spinach and onion salad, uh, yuca. We've got some different steamed broccoli and zucchini. We've got some sauteed prickly pears, steamed carrots, broccoli, and then basmati rice. And then finally over here, this is our last station here, we've got a really nice uh, roast beef in the back here. So the chef will carve up a piece of roast beef for you for your dinner. We've got some uh, mashed potatoes and gravy here to go along with that. And then here we've got some more uh, accompaniments for your dinner. We have some potatoes, we've got a uh, sautéed chard, we've got some uh, garlic mushrooms and then corn on the cobs roasted. We've got some stewed cabbage and pumpkin a mashed sweet potato and grilled tomatoes in the back. And then this is our last station here. We've got a chicken burger, chicken breast cutlets, chicken wings, pork loin with herbs, uh, ribeye steak, and then finally a lamb stew here too. And it looks like they'll do some uh, customized tacos here back, back in this little uh, cooking stew pot here. We've got sort of the middle part, they'll put some tortillas there and then you can uh, choose what you'd like, beef, uh, chicken, I think they have some chorizo as well. Get some onion on there and you can top off your tacos with any of the sauces here too. And this is the taco station. So this is something that's always here too, which I really like because I love tacos. So um, actually you can kind of see everybody ready to welcome all the guests in because the buffet is just about to open. And that's going to do it then for our buffet tours here in the uh, uh, Ryu Palace Peninsula. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at some of the food offered here and it was helpful to see the different offerings that were that are included here at the buffets if you found this video helpful make sure you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next